Normally, the code of the freelance policeman frowns on stealing ancient brains, but desperate times call for icky measures. Ew, it's warm and pulsing and wriggly. I don't know whether to be repulsed or use it as a neck massager. Maybe this carefully preserved gray matter will get Max's body moving, or at least twitching and drooling unnervingly. Hello, anybody in there? No, but I get that a lot. I'm Sam. Oh, my. A new body. And it's so energetic. That's probably one of Max's sugar rushes. You'll just want to ride him out until you get used to him. Well, I suppose you want some sort of tedious boon in return for rescuing our spirit from the shadowy realms, yes? Well, if it's not too much trouble, Your Majesty, I could use some help retrieving Max's brain from a couple of world-conquering Nimrods. I believe we can aid you in your quest, but where will my brain go after we've restored this Max? Hmm. Well, if everything goes as planned, I suppose you can take your pick between an ethnic sorcerer and a super-powered space gorilla. A gorilla? That does sound promising. Very well, we shall grant your boon. It shouldn't be too much trouble with all these toys of the gods secreted in this fuzzy little body. Toys of the gods? Do you have the gift? Is that what they're calling it these days? My people always called it the Curse of Horus. Ungrateful wretches. Neat. If you've got creepy brain powers, this rescue's gonna be a walk in the park. Ready to roll? Lead on, barbarian. Your Highness? Yes? How'd a kid like you get to become Pharaoh? Did your daddy Pharaoh die when you were young? No, our dad was a sandal maker. We became Pharaoh after we stumbled upon the toys of the gods while stealing coins from a tomb. The toys awakened latent abilities within us, granting us the power to cast the royal family into the Nile and reshape the entire kingdom in our now divine image. Now there's a heartwarming rags to riches story. If the toys made you so powerful, how'd you end up as a pickled brain in a jar? During our reign, there were always a few troublemakers who, impervious to our divine powers, rebelled against our benevolent but firm dictates. We suspect one of them finally snuck past our defenses. Hold any grudges? Sam, that's all in the past. Even if we did hold an eternal grudge against the mystery assassins who deposed us all those centuries ago, it's not as if we can do anything about it now, right? Uh, right. So, Your Highness, you impressed by the 21st century yet? Oh, most definitely. Though we do feel a bit out of our element. Don't worry. Once we teach you a few crude gestures and get rid of the whole talking in the plural thing, you'll fit right in. After all this is over, we'll all head to Broadway and take in a show. Oh, bread and circuses! Are there gladiator fights? Actually, it's mostly a bunch of people dressed up as cats singing about wanting to break loose, and then a chandelier falls on them. How'd your brain stay alive all these years, anyway? Before our death, we left strict instructions with our viziers to pickle our brain in a special solution of crocodile tears and ground ibis beaks. And that kept your brain alive? Don't be ridiculous. It was our special gift that kept our brain alive. Duh. I've got to find a way past Cosmic Gorilla Guy and Doctor Strange Accent. Hmm. Early in our reign, we found out that a minor vizier and a captain of the guard were conspiring against us. We could have wiped them out with a thought, but it amused us to turn them against each other instead. Let's roll. Aha! We shall roll like a wheel, yes? You sure know your obscure cultural references, Your Majesty. Word. Toxic adendron paleness, a prehistoric and virulent form of poison ivy, was seven times as irritating as its modern counterpart. Primitive life forms were often driven into fits of howling, scratching rage by the merest sampling of T. paleness's secretions. We have encountered plants like these before. Their smoke produces powerful paranoid delusions and a rapacious hunger. At least that's what I've been told. Dude. 
The end of the world is predicted by top apocalypsologists. Ignorant peasants. Everyone knows that the world will face its demise when Hathor begins wading in the blood of the heretics, only to be tricked by Ra into drinking a tainted vessel of barley beer to defeat him. Wait, is that the movie that has everyone dancing on the golf course at the end? Hey, Sal. Hey, I see you got your pal up and about. Kneel before your pharaoh, peasant. He's still a little punchy. What's with all the apes running around? Beats me. Mr. Paperweight told me to steer clear of them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Your lack of independent thought pleases us. Right back at you, little guy. I think you should apologize for threatening to incinerate my obviously alive buddy here. No offense, pal. I was just following orders. Ooh, we love it when servants say that. Your loyalty is commendable, serf. Canis erectus. This freakish tooth, dating from the late Fumerian era, is thought to represent an evolutionary dead end of heavyset man-dog hybrids. Oh, Anubis will not be happy with this insult to his girth. What is this laser show? Actually, I kind of forget, but I'm pretty sure it's bitchin'. Fascinating. Tapestry of Yog Sagoth, overfiend of the dank dimensions, on loan from the East Village chapter of the Knights of Yog Sagoth. He doesn't look so tough. We had Yog Sagoth worshippers in our time. They kept trying to steal our toys. <sighs> Creepy. It's a good thing our forefathers kept this guy from schlepping into our dimension, or we'd probably be seeing that on our currency by now. We like him. He reminds us of our father. Really? Of course not. Our father was a sandal merchant. That's a picture of some sort of unholy hell beast. Really, Sam, you're far too gullible. Hmm. Hey, your majesty, check out these spiffy phone numbers. Phone numbers? Ah, hieroglyphics to activate the translocation toy. We always wondered how that device worked. It probably would have helped if the ancient astronauts who taught you how to build pyramids had left behind a few telephones. Say, one of those phone numbers is brand new. Although the Hindenburg met its fiery demise in 1937, its sister ship, the Aeroschwein, is still in operation today and was a stunt double in the 1968 musical Let's All Go for a Ride in My Beautiful Balloon. That looks like one of the balloons my magicians would create with inflated sheep's bladders. You really know how to kill a conversation, Your Majesty. How is it your people make such superb handguns, yet you believe such nonsense? Pish posh! The great cow holds up the sky, and over her back rain the primeval waters. Please don't touch, play on or around the pharaoh's brain. When we ruled, anyone caught touching the pharaoh's brain was sealed in a vat of scorpions. The seven-sided pyramid of Hikaba was the crowning glory of Kestimpum the Tiny, until it collapsed under its staggering weight and unorthodox design. Seven-sided pyramids? My pyramids had so many sides, they were practically cones! Whoever designed this display should be flogged. Our slaves would never be allowed to wear sandals. How delightful! I can almost hear them groaning in pain! You're gonna love reality TV. If you're going to putrefy and decompose, you might as well do it in style. You're telling me! That's the Buckingham Imperial model with the optional scorpion proofing! Hey, it's me! Give or take 4,000 years and a decent tailor. More like 4,000 sit-ups. Ooh, pointy and dangerous. Two of my favorite things. Why does this simple device fill me with such a feeling of unspeakable dread? I think that's just Max's body having a tingle of anticipation. It does that when it sees exotic weaponry. Ah. Ah, the Sphinx. Have you heard its famous riddle? It'll knock your sandals off. It's all about, well, there's a cucumber, and then... Uh, uh, no, wait. Let me start over. Don't bother, Your Highness. Really. Ah, uh, the Arrow of Power. But where is the Disk of Madness? Or the orb of unending bounciness. We uh, haven't found them yet, but here, take a gander at this. Ah, the wondrous essence thief! 
How well I remember disguising myself as a palm frond to observe the forbidden rituals at the Temple of Adolescence. You tyrannical scamp. What in the name of Gorgar? In my experience, it's rarely a good idea to poke a space gorilla in the eyes. That's what lackeys are for, Sam. Norrington. His imperious attitude puts me in mind of a loot teacher we fed to my crocodiles for correcting my divine embouchure. You know, Max's patter is a lot less... Violent. Multisyllabic. Talk about a chilling vision of the future. We are not amused. Check it out, Your Majesty. An insanely detailed top-down drawing of the city. What a remarkable illusion of depth. Oh yeah, you didn't have perspective and vanishing points in your time, did you? Of course we did! Why, we had a whole chamber full of perspectives, and a headdress adorned with vanishing points, and... and... SHUT UP! It's locked. What kind of paranoid freak keeps his door locked from the inside? I locked all my slaves inside my birthday pyramid after they finished building it. Paperweight's not a slave. Are you sure? Hey, guard guy. Don't bother me, Tyrone. I've got to keep a lookout for Sam. Ooh, he's a smart one, isn't he? Who is this annoying creep? Are you Sam? We are the Pharaoh, you odiferous primate. And you would do well to kneel in our presence. How about I make you dance instead? Tra-la-la! -la. Oh, this is too easy. Eucalyptus porcus, the long-extinct bacon plant, was the evolutionary forerunner of today's domesticated swine. Bacon? <laughs> the only white meats consumed under our rule were chickens and crocodiles. And <laughs> the occasional old man. How amazing! We've been transmogrified into a glittering futuristic metropolis! Why do we feel like we're about to vomit? That'd be the East River. Try to breathe through your... Uh, mouth. <coughs> I kinda hated doing that to poor Sal. Yes, most unfortunate. Beetles are sacred in my culture. Actually, I think he's a cockroach. Really? Then let him rot. Be careful, Your Highness. You're full of hydrogen and dangerously unstable. Oh, lighten up! I have! Whee! Could you move just a little bit to the left, Your Majesty? Why? No reason. Whee! Oh, the subhumanity. That was really quite exhilarating. You're welcome. Now never do it again. No problem. Whoops. Let go of me, commoner! Shh! Who is making all that inferno racket? Yaksago! No! Never place your hands on our divine personage! Lighten up, Your Majesty. I think we're about to see some fireworks. Wait here, Your Majesty. This move's gonna require some sneakiness, and that body you're wearing isn't really known for its stealth. Very well. Resistance is pointless, Terran Flea! Eat my primordial wrath, monkey boy! Sam! Oh. Mm. It's about time. I would've been here two or three explosions ago if someone I know had the slightest bit of impulse control. Hey, my body's walking around without my brain. How'd you work that out? I found a loner in the creepy Egyptian exhibit. Nice kid, but a little bit of an attitude. Now let's get out of here before Goofus and Gallant figure out that we've played them for chumps. Come on, Your Highness. Your Majesty? The toy box! It's mine again! The box! You didn't stick the brain of a psychically gifted, unstable adolescent pharaoh in my cute little body, did you? Uh, maybe. It's so cool! Must resist. Norrington, help me! My hammer of Patar, the hairballs of Bastet, and the hangnails of Anubis. Reality! 
Humanity itself will kneel before Salmon Mac. Maybe we should be leaving. You think? Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When, when we, we think, think of Salmon Mac, we, we give a big, big salute. salute. Oh, you have got to be kidding. Attention, everyone. From this point forward, those little things at the ends of your shoelaces. Aglets? Yes. Aglets are hereby decreed to be the most horrible things in all the world. It's a good thing I don't wear shoes. Ooh. <laughs> well played, General Skunkape. You are truly our fiercest and smelliest warrior. I live for your praise, my liege. You know, I enjoy a good pummeling as much as the next brain in a jar, but that seemed really unfair. It may seem unfair, little buddy, but it's the only way those stinking rebels will learn to accept Salmon Mac's righteous rule. You're creepy when you're sycophantic, Sam. In days of yore, British sailors would often follow Pramiopia, the baby buggy, to guide their vessels home. Woo! Vizier, what is that magnificent contraption? It's a pram, my liege. A pram, eh? Attention, everyone! This is Salmon Mac, holy of holies here! From now on, prams are hereby decreed to be the ginchiest things in all creation. We love them, and you should too. That is all. Hmm, if I had one of those, I could give it to Salmon Mac. Corn dogs! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Whoops. No! Ah. <sighs> what? <gasps> what is that? That thing that has defiled our pyramid of corn dogs? It's, um, my Eurosnap 3000 SRX camera, my lord. A camera, eh? Listen up, everybody. We hereby decree that cameras are the most despicable things in the world. If you see a camera, smash it into teeny tiny bits for your lord and master. That is all. Snoops. And as for you, into the pit of contrition with you. Ha 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 ha! Yo. Oh, my cranklies! Vizier, more corn dogs. Right away, your wonderfulness. That was quick. Confidentially, this happens a lot, so we always have a spare. Lord Salmon Mac, thanks for welcoming me into your inner circle. I can't believe I'm so close to your radiant gloriousness. Yes, yes, it's a great honor. Now still your tongue. We're watching the fight. He talked to me. Stop drooling, Sam. Almost oh, mighty and glorious Lord Salmon Mac, I have something you might be interested in. Sick Shemper Karanis! Hey now, Do Missy, be careful with that thing. Sam, no! You furry fool! Well done, my wet-nosed and faithful servant. Now, finish off this wretched assassin. Isn't that a little harsh? How about we just slap her with a fine or revoke her internet privileges for a few days? Kill her! Come on, Sam, don't be a jerk. I'm sorry, my liege. I can't do it. What? Wait, how could you let her escape? Oh, I am so very sorry, your perfectness. And you, you have disappointed us for the first and only time, Sam. Into the pit of contrition with you! Yes, your awesomeness. Yes, I shall enjoy this. Let the divine punishment begin! I've waited a lifetime for this, Earth Cur. But we only imprisoned you in the penal zone a couple of hours ago. Yes, but due to the temporal differences between this dimension and the- Blah, blah, blah. Just shut up and fight. Yes, your gloriousness. Yes, your wonderfulness. Let us see what you've got. 
Must we do everything around here? If you will not submit to our champion, then we will personally have the pleasure of scraping you from the papyrus of reality! Try not to ruin my face, Sam! And don't think we haven't noticed you meddling with our stolen toys! Ah, croco dung! Now, insect, strike me if you can! I can't, your gloriousness! That's more like it. Go ahead, make my epoch. Salmon Mac, you're really... Yes? A heck of a guy. <laughs> Don't just stand there like a flea. Fight me! <laughs> Why so quiet, Sam? Bastet got your tongue! Salmon Mac is stupid! Salmon Mac is lame! <laughs> your next brain! Salmon Mac is mighty! Salmon Mac is grand! The brilliance of Lord Salmon Mac is more than we can stand! Kneeling won't save you now, traitor! Salmon Mac is handsome! Salmon Mac is cute! When we think of Salmon Mac, we give a big sa- <laughs> Loot? Never be a Grand Vizier now. 